All right, so we've gone through the uh, basic principles of how to adjust uh, for towing error. There are as many different specific clamping mechanisms as there are chairs, unfortunately, so you do have to do a little bit of problem solving. Um, there are some advantages that some of the manufacturers have given us to make it easier. Um, this one you'll see has the same clamping system as before, it's just one Allen key to loosen this off, and then you have to rotate the axle bar. But they have incorporated a little gadget here to show you when the towing is corrected. So the little ball needs to be in line with the um, plastic mark there. If it's off, the ball rolls either forwards or backwards. So once it's in the middle, you know that you've got rid of the towing error. That's exactly what this uh, little level is designed for. Some chairs have a spirit level with a bubble right in the middle at the top of the axle. All right, so it's just two different ways of achieving the same objective. You still have to uh, make sure the wheels are pointing in the same direction by measuring from a fixed point on the frame. All right, now we've gone to the more complex chairs. The principles stay exactly the same. You measure a chair that has a camber plate instead of a camber bar, same way. Get the valve to the axle height from the floor or mark the tire. This one doesn't have a valve, of course, because it's semi pneumatic. Um, uh, measure the tire, mark the tire at the uh, axle height, measure this distance, measure that distance, and if you, if you have to adjust it, you can curse the day you were born because this isn't an easy job. All right. So what you have to do is remove the remove the tire. show you what it is we have to do. If you have camber in this chair, it's been achieved by putting more washers in the bottom two parts of the bracket than there are at the top. And what that does is it keeps the bottom part of the axle plate away from the frame and provides a camber situation. So in this case we have two washers and one washer, we've probably got about two degrees of camber because of the thickness of that washer. Different thickness of washers induce different um, degrees of camber. Same thing on the other side. At the front, we have no washers at the bottom and no washers at the top, which is an unusual situation. I'll try and explain why. Um, all right, so. What we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I'll show you how you um, adjust the camber and adjust the towing area once you've uh, in, in done that. So what we have to do is remove all of these four bolts. In this case there's only three because uh, the, the, uh, for whatever reason um, somebody wanted to get more dump in the chair so they move the uh, the axle plates up as high as it will go and there's no corresponding hole in this uh, front part of the frame. We do that quite often and we've never had any problems. So what we need to uh, remove this two uh, 7 16 wrenches and a socket and a wrench which is uh, often easier. Okay, I'm going to take all these off and then we'll come back, uh, we'll come back to the uh, video in a second. Alright, so I've loosened all these um, uh, nuts off the uh, back of the bolts. Those of you who are observing will probably notice that these bolts have slightly different uh, markings on them, well significantly different. Uh, these are what we call grade 5 bolts, they have a certain strength, the more number, the more lines you have on there, the stronger the bolt, and you should never replace a grade 5 bolt with a weaker one, you can replace it with a stronger one. Now, this doesn't have any markings on, so it's possible that this is an ungraded or weaker bolt. Now, I also know that the techs who have been working on these chairs are very, very good, and the chances are that this is either a stainless um, or a titanium bolt, which have non-standard markings. To test that, use a magnet, and obviously this is not magnetic, 
So it is either titanium or stainless steel, so it's probably as strong as it needs to be. There you see the magnet holds onto the, uh, the regular bolt. So I'm going to replace that with a, um, with a grade 5 bolt anyway, just to make sure. So if I take out these, uh, these bolts, it's actually easier to do this task with the chair laying on its side so all the uh, nuts and washers don't fall off. But I'm going to do it on this uh, standing up properly so you can perhaps see it a little easier. So I'll take off the three um, nuts. And from the bottom one, I get two washers. Now you actually see the washers are different thickness there. Um, that will achieve less of a camber than two thick ones. So I'm going to put those there so I'm going to know where my orientation was. Take out the top, top left. And I have a thick washer there. And on this one, no washers at all. So it's a good idea to leave the other side of the chair intact so you've got a reference point so you know where you came from. So what we have, if we want to have a certain degree of camber, you put more washers at the bottom of the um, axle bar to, to achieve that camber. If then you raise the seat up by lowering the axle bar down, you've turned that pure camber into camber and towing error. So we may have to put um, camber in, get the seat height we want, and then make an adjustment for the towing error by putting, if we have a towing in situation, so the wheels are pointing towards the front of the, the middle of the front of the chair, we want to step the front of the axle bar out by putting washers here to compensate for the towing error that we had. If the wheels are pointing away from each other, we put washers in here to um, make the wheels point in the same direction as each other. So it's not uncommon to have a situation, let's say we put two degrees uh, or four degrees of camber in the chair with using two thick washers and then we have to make an adjustment to correct the towing because it was towed out and we put one washer here and one washer here. So we have a situation where we have one washer, three washers, two washers and zero washers. Right? So that's one and one for the towing and two and two for the, um, for the camber. All right, it's a lot of fiddling about because you have to guess how many washers you have to put in, completely reassemble the chair and then, um, uh, and then measure again. So it's not, uh, it's not something you do when you've got half an hour of free time. All right.